Hello and welcome to the WebEx training. To begin, let's ensure that our Chrome browser is set as our default. To do this, go ahead and launch Google Chrome. To begin, click on the three dots to the right of the address bar and go down to settings. Scroll down until you see default browser and then underneath that is default browser and if it says make default to the right click it and say use chrome note you may have to do this twice until this make default button disappears once google chrome is set as your default browser it should look like this next navigate to the school district's homepage. Scroll down to Staff Links and locate Sweetwater County School District number 1 WebEx. To log in, you need to type your full email address and your email password. Once you are logged into the platform, you have three options. You can meet now, schedule a meeting for the future, or join an existing meeting if you have that meeting number. If you have any scheduled meetings, they will appear underneath those three buttons. For this testing purpose, I'm going to go ahead and schedule a meeting for some point in the future. It asks some basic questions, like what is the meeting about, when is the meeting, I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for today at 8 a.m. Duration is for one hour, however your meeting can exceed that. Here you can also input who you want to attend this meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and invite myself. And I'm going to go ahead and invite somebody on the outside. If they're outside of the district, you must click the plus button at the end of the field to add them to the list. If they are internal to the district, you can check this box to make them an alternate host. However, it is not necessary. You can choose to input a meeting password. However, it is not required. You also have the ability to record a meeting, which that meeting will be saved on the WebEx server after the meeting is done. I'm going to go ahead and say schedule the meeting. What this does, it sends everybody that you invited an email to join this meeting. That invite looks something like this. It's basically a calendar invite, and inside that calendar invite is a start this meeting link. If you accept the calendar invite, it disappears just like any other calendar invite would, where it will actually show up on your calendar itself. The reason we set Google Chrome as the default browser is so that way when you click the link out of your email, it will launch in the proper browser. Google Chrome is the best browser for Cisco WebEx. If for some reason you do lose the calendar invite, you can always log in to the WebEx portal page and any scheduled meeting for that time will be displayed below. You can always click all meetings to see any meetings that are scheduled for future events as well. Once it's time to begin this meeting, you can jump into the calendar invite by clicking that link and then clicking on start. If you've never launched WebEx on your machine before, it will ask you to do one of two steps. First, you need to add it to your Google Chrome browser, so click the green button. It'll redirect you to the Google Chrome Web Store. Click add to Chrome and add extension. Okay, give it just a second after it does this it will take you to step two of two in just a few moments where it's going to download the WebEx plugin. Go ahead and click on it out of your downloads. Beep. 
once it's launched, go ahead and double click on the WebEx installer. And proceed through the prompts. Okay, one installation has been completed. It's going to redirect you back to the WebEx web page. For the first time, or subsequent times, if you don't check this next step, this message might display. To permanently get rid of it, click on Show Certificate. Check the box that says Always Trust at the top and say Continue. When it asks for your password, type the same password you used to log into your machine. Okay. Sometimes Cisco WebEx does not come fully launched and disappears, and you only see the web page itself. Do not click on Start again because it'll just try and take you into the meeting that's already open on your computer. Instead, look for what we call the beach ball on your dock. Clicking on this will bring that to the forefront of your screen. If you've never launched Cisco WebEx and you have a newer operating system, you might have to allow WebEx access to the camera. So if you get this dialog, click on OK, and it should allow your webcam. Now, you might be able to see yourself. However, if you see this dialog box, it does not mean that you're broadcasting your video yet. You need to click on Start My Video to enable your webcam. To the right of your name, should show a green icon for your camera once it is enabled. Alright, so a little bit of diagnostics that you can use to help troubleshoot yourself and other folks that are in the meeting as well, is to the left and to the right of that person's name has two status indicators. One would be for the audio bridge, the other would be for the camera. If they have an icon to the right of their name, that means their camera is enabled. So if I was to enable that camera, you can now see that that has a green icon for the webcam. If they were to join in to the audio bridge, you have two options. You can call in using a phone or you can call in using a computer. If you call in using the phone, you must dial one of two numbers. If you're inside of the district, you can call extension 1010. If you're outside, you can dial the outside number there. It is very important that you enter the meeting access code and the attendee ID when it's asked for inside the bridge. Welcome to WebEx. Please enter your access code or meeting number followed by the pound sign. Please enter your attendee ID number followed by the pound sign. Welcome to WebEx. After the tone, please say your name followed by the pound sign. You will now be placed into the conference. You are the first attendee to join the conference. Please stand by. So you can now see that we are in the audio bridge. I have a phone icon to the left of my name indicating that I'm calling in. If we were to use the, our computer to call in, we would have a headset icon to the left of our name. One important thing is if they have this icon to the left of their name and you're still not able to hear them or they're not able to hear you, they might need to change their audio settings. So if you click on the three dots below the button and click on change settings, you can click on this drop down next to each of the different settings and choose the appropriate speaker or microphone for that. And then click OK. Now we can see that I've got one computer tied into the call in using computer audio side of the bridge and the other one is connected with the phone. To share your screen, simply click on share screen in the middle and everybody will be able to see everything that you've got presented on your desktop. This includes PowerPoints, any kind of web pages, or any other kind of documents that you might have. To get out of this, you have the green tab at the top 
simply hover over this and it'll drop down and you can hit stop sharing here. You also have the ability to share any kind of pictures or regular documents off of your computer. Simply click the three dots below share screen and you can share files. From here, you can also annotate on this document without actually changing it. If you do close out of an item, it defaultly takes you back to meeting info. All of your options are under the Quick Start tab. Simply click on the Quick Start tab to return back to those buttons. There is one hidden feature inside of Cisco WebEx that might be useful to you. If you click the drop down arrow to the right, you can click on Manage Panels and under available panels might be a polling option. You can simply click on it once and click on add to move it over to your active panels. Polling just allows you to create questions and then send them out to all of your participants in the meeting. This is what it looks like on the user side when they see that poll. They can see that the poll has been open for nine seconds and they have a time limit of five minutes. On the host side, you can see exactly how everybody's answering. It looks like one of one has finished. So we can go ahead and close this poll and we can see the individual results. If I wanted to share that out with everybody, I can go back to the Quick Start tab, share my screen again, and now the folks that are in the meeting can now see those results as well. One option that is inside of Cisco WebEx while somebody is sharing their screen is that they can request to annotate. So now this thing, this user can draw on my screen and everybody will be able to see it.